Okay, so here we are. I'm um, getting ready to start doing some assembly. Um, <clears throat> we're basically going to weld, tack weld, the riser onto the base here. Okay. Um, in the previous video you guys just watched, I showed you about cutting the, the fire brick. Um, this is the way it's inter interlinked. You see how the notches here, here, each brick has a notch. So they just follow each other. Now, it's not perfectly squared up. Again, it doesn't matter. This is just a prototype. The fire bricks are going to do their job. I'm actually more concerned with how soft the fire brick is over anything. So, anyway, <clears throat> the reason why I'm concerned with how soft the fire brick is is because we, we need something to slide in and out of here. But we got a plan to deal with that just for the prototype purposes. But we're getting ready to put this all together. So, I've got this basically centered. I know in a lot of rocket mass videos, they tell you to not center the riser. They tell you to push it off to one side because it helps the Venturi effect happen. Um, I'm not too concerned about that, neither is my partner, so we're just going to go ahead and weld this. I'm not going to do a, a serious complete weld on here, but I am going to do a, a pretty couple or four substantial tack welds on each corner. Um, that'll be plenty fine. What that does is if we don't like the position of this, then it allows me to easily come in and, and cut the welds and move it. So, again, this is a prototype. We want to see what happens with it, with it centered, and see how well it works. Um, but for now, the next step I'm going to do is I'm going to tack this on here. Um, then I'm going to take out my Everlast Power Plasma 50. I've got a bunch of metal right here. Hot rolled steel, carbon steel, for those who don't know, it's regular mild steel. Um, I'm going to weld the, the base on here. Uh, I know that that needs to be roughly, I forget already, I think it's like six and a half or something like that. Um, measure real quick again. Yeah, six and a half. <clears throat> And the bottom piece needs to be six and a half. I'm actually probably going to go a little bit bigger, um, maybe six and three quarter. And I'm going to weld that to this base too. Okay, so I actually might weld that that piece of metal on here before I, I weld this to the to the base. Um, but I'm going to weld it to the riser, not the base. Actually, that's what I meant to say. <laughs> I might put a couple of tacks here and here because it's just going to be a plate that sticks out um, but we'll see about that as far as its length is concerned um, I know that I'm going to want to have two sections of this stick out um, these top bricks are going to have to be cut horizontal or yeah horizontally I don't know at a 90 degree whatever that is I don't know what the technical term is um, because that's where the pellet feeder is going to come in. But I need to figure out the position of where that's going to be in correlation to this. And I don't really feel like doing the math again and again and again. So I'm just going to wing it and it'll be good. I know where the, I know where the drum sits on here, the cover for the tank. So as long as that pellet feeder is out enough from that, it's perfectly fine. So anyway, we're going to wing that. We're going to get all that tacked up and weld it up. Um, I'm going to be using, like I said, to weld my Everlast Power iMig 200 and to cut, I'm going to be using my Everlast Power Plasma 50 and you see that big piece of tubing right there? I'm going to finally use my JD Model 32 tubing bender here for a video shortly, so stay tuned for that. That's going to be fun. It's actually going to be for something for this Pathfinder. So anyway, getting sidetracked. That's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to set you guys in time lapse mode and we're going to get some work done and I'll talk to you guys in a second.
Okay, so here's what I got going on. Um, I've got this all tacked in. Like I said, they're a little bit bigger than tacks, or maybe about half inch to quarter of an inch welds. Um, just because I need them to be stronger than a tack, and a tack is quite frankly a little bit too cold. But I don't need them to be excessively strong. Um, so I got this plate. I obviously cut it long. I did that on purpose. Um, I forgot that we're going to work on something, maybe a door on this end or something. We'll see, but I wanted to leave enough metal there where that was the option. I didn't want to have to build onto that later. So, I um, had a little bit of square issues. Um, it should be fine right now. Even if this is not perfectly square, it's going to be okay. You're not going to see any of this. You're just going to see this section come out of the, you know, out of the out of the compressor tank that's going to cover all of this up. So, being perfectly square is not exactly critical. So, here's what I'm doing. Um, if you look here, I got the edge of this inside brick. I'm going to have to notch for. Um, to get these this brick to slide up against here properly, but I was also measuring the top brick where I wanted to cut it for the feeder, the pellet feeder. So the pellet feeder it, position is is a little bit I wouldn't say it's critical, but I'm I'm a little concerned with it. So I'm going to go inside. I'm going to look at my my notes and make sure that I'm not putting it too close to the riser and I'll be right back and we'll wrap up this video so sit tight be right back okay everyone so I went inside checked on my my notes and the notes say that the feeder tube should be as close to the riser as possible so I'm gonna run with the position that I had marked you saw in the time lapse um, hopefully you saw that. could have been too short for you to see it. Basically I'm going to cut this brick here. Um, I'm going to cut the back brick about the same distance. So that should put my feeder within an inch or within two inches um, of the actual barrel that's going to go over here to the compressor tank. So um, with that being said, let's get you back in time lapse. Let's get to work. Okay, so I'm going to pretty much wrap this video up here. Um, I've made a lot of progress. This is how it goes inside here. Um, but I'm going to have to do a little bit of, of tedious work here, and I'll explain to you what I've got to do before I cap the top off. Um, when I get back in, in the next part of this series, um, I'll basically have this tunnel complete. Uh, and then, then we'll get working on doing the putting the ring around here and the little flange that needs to go around here for the the cover to fit on but this shows you enough of what I'm doing here for you to get an idea um, that's how the bricks interlock um, right now what I have you see this little piece of metal sticking up right here I need to weld to that for me to weld to that um, I've got to get this top plate here that I just cut. You saw me stomping on it. I did that because I didn't want to fire up my plasma cutter and unplug everything and plug everything back again. I'm going to have to plug it. I'm going to have to turn the plasma cutter back on because I need to shave a little bit of this off. Anyway, um, it needs to sit flat on top of this brick just because there's not enough flange here. Um, the other option that I have, and, and I may do that, is grind all this excess mortar off of here that, that I had from doing the test burns 
and then take another piece of this little one inch by eighth inch flat bar that you see right here that I welded on and maybe put a strip across the top here. If I put a strip across the top it changes everything then I don't have to really worry about it too much. Um, but we'll see. I, I've got to think about that. Uh, I'm running short on time here. Today's fight night, UFC fight night. And I don't miss my fights, so I, I definitely need to, to get my butt in the house and get dinner ready so that I can watch that. Um, deal. So, anyway, so I'm rambling. Thanks for watching. Um, sorry I didn't get a lot more work done, but I at least showed you the important aspect of this. And I'll be back as soon as my fights are over. Uh, I'll be back in the shop and filming more videos and, and wrapping this thing up. So... Hopefully I'll be able to get this done this weekend, but you're not going to see all the videos all at once. I'm going to start uploading my videos at least once, one per day. Um, when I upload like four or five, it gets to be a little bit excessive, I think. So, anyway, thanks for watching. Subscribe, comment, like, and check out the links in the description. Go like Alvarez Metalworks on Facebook. Follow me on Twitter, and check out my website. Talk to you guys later. Thanks for the support.